Hi, welcome to Draw Tip Tuesday. My name is Koosje Koene and I'm here to help you get going and keep you going on your creative journey. And today I want to give you a tour through this sketchbook. It's an accordion sketchbook and I just finished this project that took me quite a while but I did it. It's my shoe project. It started out as a shoe off with my friend Jane Lafazio. And in this sketchbook, I captured all of my shoes. I will show you right away. So this project started with these shoes. I bought them in, in Pasadena when we had SketchCon there, the conference of Sketchbook School. And my friend Jane Lafazio noticed that I was wearing a different pair of shoes every day. And then she gave me the idea of why don't you draw all of your shoes? How fun would that be? So that was in the back of my mind for a long time. I didn't have time for it. I did have the zigzag book for it because I thought an accordion sketchbook would be really fun for it. But I just didn't um, do it until this summer. I finally picked up the zigzag book and I started to draw each and every shoe that I own. It's an um, embarrassing amount of shoes, I have to say, and they're not even that fancy either. Uh, but hey, this is how it is. And shoes may be the, a very mundane uh, thing to draw, but they also have a lot of character. Once you start drawing them, you will see that. Also, there's a lot of memories in shoes. I remember where I walked in these slippers, for example. I remember buying these. I remember um, receiving these as a birthday present. There's stories to shoes and they are very personal. So they are very interesting to draw. And I loved doing this as a project because there was always something waiting for me to be drawn. If I didn't have any ideas or if I did need some drawing time for myself, I would just put a pair of shoes on the table and draw them. And I had to glue a few of these uh, zigzag books together to fit all the shoes in. But in the end, I captured them all using a dip pen and watercolors. Doing a project like this doesn't only give you a reason to draw daily, weekly, regularly, until the thing is done. You have a goal, you have um, an idea, so you don't need to think about what to draw because it's in this series, but also it can help you to draw um, in a certain way, you know, you can take a certain approach or you can choose to use only a certain material, which I did for this. I used uh, pen and ink because I wanted to practice that a little bit more and um, also watercolors because I wanted to add color to my drawings. And that's it. I didn't have to think about how to set my stuff up. I just needed to put my shoes down in front of me, take out my dip pen and uh, the ink and get started. So um, doing a project like that can really help you to create a daily thing or a regular uh, thing with also working towards something finished, a finished product. So you could also do this for a week, you know, every day you draw one particular thing and um, in the end you will have a whole series of it. I've done that with selfies, I've done it with food, you can do it with anything. My next thing might be drawing animals. I'm not sure how I will approach that because I don't have pets or anything, um, but I do feel like I need more practice on that. Um, so that might be a next thing for me. Uh, using different materials or a certain material. I'm, I, I don't know. I'm just thinking out loud right now. So I hope this was inspiring to you and I hope you go and draw. Next week I will be back with another Draw Tip Tuesday video. And if you want to support me to keep on going on these videos and having them available for free every week, you can support me through Patreon. I will put the link down below. 
Also, I will put the link down below to the video that Jane made of her shoe project because we had been working on this at the same time, only it took me a little bit longer than her. Okay, see you next week. Bye.